Hey YouTube, this is just going to be a quick video of my adventure van, or a tour of my adventure van. So, uh, it's a 98 Toyota Sienna. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of modifications to the outside of it. I wanted to keep it uh, looking pretty stock. So, there's a few small things I've done which I'll show you and then we'll take a look at the inside of it. Uh, the first thing you might notice is um, the bumpers and uh, uh, the little side panel down there on the bottom. Um, I painted those black with that Rust-Oleum uh, bed liner paint. Um, it was kind of a gray before and I you know thought it looked kind of lame so I just I painted those black. Um, I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, looks a little bit less like a soccer van without looking uh, standing out too much. Um, I also put on a few of these uh, kind of rain guard things up here on the windows that way it's nice you know if you're camping or whatever um, you can crack the windows and if it rains you won't get uh, rain inside the van so um, that's, those are the kind of the two things I did on the outside. Um, let's take a look at some of the things on the inside. Um, up in the front, um, not a whole lot here. I think I put new mats and things inside of it. Um, here, uh, between the two seats, I just put an old ammo box and I've got um, some cassettes. There's a sweet cassette deck in here. Um, I've got some cassettes in that case and then a couple walkie-talkies. Um, there's kind of the bush knife and some paracord, a few books, um, some books on tape, and then a thermos for keeping uh, drinks warm if you have coffee or cider or tea or whatever. Um, I've got a garbage can back there between the seats. Um, let's see, in the glove box up here, um, I've got some other books and um, a field notes thing for keeping some notes, um, a license and registration. There's a multi-tool there in that pouch on the left. Um, tire pressure gauge, there's a sharpie, some pens and pencils, um, owner's manual, first aid, that kind of stuff. Um, there's also some stuff underneath the seats, I won't go through all that, but underneath the seats, um, I think I've got a tool kit underneath the seats, and some roadside uh, flares and reflectors in case there's some sort of accident. Right now the van is in van mode. Um, what I mean by that is the seats uh, here are in the upright position. Um, I've got two little ones, so when we're going adventuring we need to be able to get everybody there safely, so um, these seats are up right now. We'd have car seats in here if we were going to go uh, on a trip or an adventure. Um, so right now it is in van mode, not in adventure mode. Uh, so this would be how we'd get everybody to the campsite or wherever we were going. Um, and the reason I bought a Sienna and an older Sienna is these seats, as I'll show you in a minute, will fold flat um, and I've got a platform in the back that uh, will make a nice uh, bed platform uh, when you fold these seats down. So um, over here, a couple other items. I've got um, an Aquatainer. Uh, I think that holds five or seven gallons of water. I can't remember. And then I've got a cooler there. Um, you can throw your, you know, canned goods or whatever. Some food in there. Um, a little uh, fire extinguisher over there in the door. Some maps and things. A frisbee in there for playing with, so some various things just kind of around. Under the seat here we've got some, uh, I've got a platform for showering, um, that's uh, just for a game there, and then some extra pairs of hiking shoes and sandals and stuff. Um, under, the, under the seats up here I've got a set of poker chips and some binoculars um, in the back of the seat just for more stuff to do. Um, I'm going to break here for a minute and show you the back, actually I'll just walk around in the back and show you. And then, uh, then I'll put the seats down and show you the, the bed mode so anyway here in the back um, right now uh, if it's in van mode I've just got these two pads uh, sitting on top of this platform might be kind of hard to see um, and inside underneath it I've got all my camping gear so um, I've got I kind of built this platform here so that you could slide um, these milk crates in and out um, so you can get to these milk crates pretty easy and they'll slide right out here. There's enough space here where they can slide out and get over this lip. I think I've got uh, five milk crates back here um, and I kind of set them up uh, by category which I'll show you more in a minute. Um, this is my Hobbs doll over here because you need to have a Hobbs doll if you're going to go adventuring. Um, I've got some other stuff kind of hooked up back here. I've got a flashlight. Um, these are some magnets. Uh, I've got a mosquito curtain that we'll just throw up over this opening and we can uh, lay in the back and have this open and have a mosquito curtain up so bugs don't come in and just use the magnets to affix it to the sides. 
Um, I've got some bungee cords, um, water bottle. Uh, over here I put a paper towel, uh, you know, holder, dispenser, whatever. Here's that mosquito curtain I was talking about. Um, back here on the side, it's hard to really see, but back there I've got uh, some small hatchets and things. Coffee pot stored. Um, let me get these pads out of here and I'll show you the rest. But right now back here, um, I've just got some bedding tucked there behind the seats, um, as well as these pads. Um, I've got some uh, battery-powered LED lights up here, so when you're in the van at night, these actually get pretty bright, and you can, you know, play cards or whatever, and just have a little bit of light back here. Um, two other things to show you back here is there's a couple pouches here that were, um, you know, for various things for kids or whatever. But I stuck a few books back here, and um, there's some dice and a dice cup and a cribbage set and a little handheld. Uh, battery powered fan. Um, and the other one, the other one actually has the door still on it. In this one, I've got uh, some magnetic games and another deck of cards. There's a Monopoly game, and then there's some juggling, uh, juggling props and a yo yo just for messing around with for the kids or whatever. Um, I guess I should say for me because I'm a big kid. But uh, let me let me pause this here and I'll show you what the uh, what's underneath the the pad here.